I mean, it's awesome. Uh, it's just being able to get around the young guys, you know, like I've been around all the new guys that came in, Hunter, Clay, and uh, I, mean, I just actually get to, get to see how they look like in the pads. But I mean, it's exciting. Like, it's kind of weird. I was, I was getting ready this morning, and I still kind of have those goosebumps. Like, it's my sixth, it's the sixth training camp. But I mean, it's always it's, it's an exciting time every single year. More time to craft on my skill. And it's all just an awesome time. Obviously, Doug was a was a leader. You've been a leader. How much more of that role do you have to take on now? How do you do that? Yeah, I mean, Doug, Doug was was an unreal leader. You know, great vocal guy, easily could get up and get behind. Uh, so I mean, it's it's a tough act to follow. <laughs> but I mean, we were very close. But I just know, like, just leading these guys, just trying to get make the make them the best possible versions of themselves. And with this group, it's super easy to lead. They're always willing and eager to learn. And that, it's it's a great privilege to have. I heard you. Coach Bielema said you challenge guys a lot. Well, why, why do you think that's important? I mean, I just always think about how I've played throughout the last five years. You know, like there's so much of this game that's mental, mm -hmm. and I had to learn it early on that if you get if you let someone get in your head, you've already lost. So that's why I try to challenge guys early in training camp through the physical, through through the through the grit, all that all the terrible stuff that goes on, which is trying to make them mentally tough and also physically strong, so that whenever no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says. They're doing their job as hard as they can to help this team win. What do you want to see when you do that? I mean, I, I hope <laughs> that someone blows up because then that's always a great time for me. But I hope, whenever I see someone actually just like just block out all the external noise, that's when I know that all right, this guy's he's he's locked in. Like nothing's getting to him. We heard from Bart in the spring, Pacho, that I finally have a healthy Pacho. Can you compare how you feel right now compared to the last two fall camps? I mean, it's it's crazy how much better I feel. You know, like last year was brutal. You know, I didn't. I didn't start running until July, because <laughs> um, I, I had pretty good. Uh, yeah, because I, I obviously had a knee, I had a, I had a foot issue, but I mean it just feels so much better. You know the trainers, and that, that was a big reason why I want to come back because I truly believe that we have the best strength staff, the best training staff in the nation. Like just just being here every single morning at the coach tank, they would kick my ass. <laughs> but I mean I can't thank them enough because I just feel so much better, from, so much more athletic. And I'm just so happy I came back for another year. Are you getting some old man jerks? <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's, what are the, it's, what are the it's, best ones? I've heard from Coach B also. That's great. Uh, it's just like, oh, so this is your ninth training camp. How's it going? Like, just keep <laughs> on just old old jokes. Like, oh, you've been here 15 years, huh? Even, <laughs> even Josh Goodman came by. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's getting old, but, I mean, I get it. These kids were, when, I, when we were playing Ohio State in 2017, these freshmen were in eighth grade. So, <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit old. <laughs> how, how challenging is the, the tempo of the offense and then the signals and the – finish a play and get the next play in how, how tough is that I mean it is very tough you know obviously last year we were in a huddle offense a little bit slower but I mean this is what I'm used to I mean if you look back at the past from 17 to 20 Rod Smith we had all up tempo and that's the stuff I absolutely love so the biggest part is just getting used to actually moving and just running you know because you can do drills and workouts and all that but until you put on the pads helmets and actually start blocking someone it's a little bit of a different animal but I mean, I'm, I love the sub tempo offense. Do you feel like you're back at a more natural position for you this year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I, I, I truly love guard offs, you know, just being able to put my face mask in someone's <laughs> chest. Uh, it's a great time, but I mean, just right tackle. It's where I feel at home. It's where I feel m m like the most comfortable at, but I just I truly whatever that helps the team. And I, I understand we had to make that uh, at a switch last year, but I feel a lot better now. And I feel like this is where I can contribute the most. Obviously, you lose two stalwarts. We were five-year starters. It's a different kind of offensive line. Um, what's the identity of this one? Or what, what are you seeing out of this group coming together? I mean, I'm just so proud of how much we work. You know, like, and the one thing I love is just the competition we have. You know, like, after this last season, obviously Doug left. Darren, I was also gone. So, like, it's anyone's spot. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one that's an awesome competition that we have going on. And everyone just truly wanted to be get better. Everyone's willing. I don't have to drag guys along to try and get them do extra work. Everyone's willing. Hey, what time are we going? All that. I mean, it's just I love this group so much. What's your early thoughts on Zai and Isaiah as they get ready for camp? They're doing fantastic. I mean, I love them. You know, like it's just the work ethic and just the willingness they have to get better every single day. Like all throughout spring ball and summer, they were never content with just like oh, I'm just gonna be average. No, like they every single day they would come with it as as hard as hard working as it could be. And you're just always trying to get better. I'm extremely proud of them. I'm happy Alex, that they're in our online. <laughs> Alex, the way this offense is designed, trying to get the ball out quickly, what's that do for you guys in, pa in pass pro? I mean, it helps us block a little bit shorter, <laughs> but I mean, I just love how much Coach Lonnie is bringing to our offense. You know, like, 
just every single meeting just talking with him like he has a plan for everything and it's just it's truly it's awesome knowing that i have an offensive coordinator who tr who understands what he has and just doing a great job using his strengths we got Casey says Tommy's got a little uh